Hello, today we will talk about the concept of the Lorentz force, which is the base of working of all electric motors, no matter the type or size of the motor, all work using this principle. We will explain it now and we will make a practical demonstration. The Lorentz force appears when we have a situation in which we have a magnetic field in this case, the field created by the magnets, and we have a conductor that carries an electric current. The interaction of the electric current with the magnetic field creates a force on the conductor. In this case, the force points upwards. The direction of the force can be found using the right hand rule. If we put our hand right hand like this, this finger points in the direction of the magnetic field and this in the direction of the electric current. So your thumb will indicate the direction of the force acting on the conductor. In this case the force points upwards. Of course if we reverse the direction of the magnetic field or the direction of the current then the force on the conductor will also reverse and point downwards. Here we have the rotor of an electric motor. As you can see, here we have the coils where the current flows. The current is introduced here in the commutator. And normally we have magnets or electromagnets around the rotor. So it is immersed in a magnetic field now imagine that the magnetic field is in this direction, as in the figure, and then the current that flows in this conductor will generate an upward force. And this force in turn generates a torque that makes the rotor well rotate. Let me illustrate the concept of the Lorentz force with this simple device. We have two wires here and below I have placed some magnets so there is a magnetic field in the vertical direction. We will connect the wires to a power supply and here I will put a conductor. The conductor is used a piece of copper wire and I have placed these plastic washers used to keep it on the track. Since these two wires are connected to the power supply, there will be a current flowing in this conductor. If the magnetic field points upwards and the current flows in this direction, then the right hand rule tells that the force is to the right. So the conductor will move to the right. Of course, if we reverse the current that we apply, then the conductor will move to the left. So let's connect it and see what happens. We should note that this is practically a short circuit. So I'm going to set my power supply to 10 volts and limit it to a maximum of 4 amps.
So there it is, a simple experiment to demonstrate the concept of the Lorentz force. Thank <laughs> you.